Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. In this session, we will be seeing how to configure AVD and how to launch the AVD emulator. So AVD is abbreviation of Android Virtual Device. This is most commonly used functionality in the development and testing of Android applications. So let's begin. First of all, we will launch Android Studio application. So once you open the Android Studio application, it will look in this way. We will see step by step how we can launch the Android AVD. What all requirements are there, like what all steps goes in, which API needs to be downloaded, how we select things. So we will see in detail how to do it. First of all, when the panel is opened for Android Studio, we'll just go and click this particular icon. If you hover through it, it will show you AVD Manager, that is Android Virtual Device Manager. So I'll just click on this. Once you click on it, you'll see there is a new panel which is opened about our virtual devices. Now we should be clicking on Create Virtual Device and it will take us to the panel which will first of all give us categories. The categories consist of TV, phone, Wear OS, tablet, automotive. So all these things we should be aware of. Like TV, this is particular OS, which is meant for smart TVs. Phone definitely for all our Android devices. A variable is for the watches which we have, the smart watches. Tablet again, the tabs which we use. And automotive is for the bikes or all those stuff cars bikes which uses the android system now we we are concerned about phone so we'll start with how a mobile how we can launch avd for a mobile because this is most frequently used stuff kind of so when we click on phone you will see there are many profiles which are by default available so all the profiles which are related to Nexus as Pixel and Nexus phones are specifically designed to have core Android present or core Android OS present. So here you will see predefined name of that particular device. And with that you have the size of the screen which we want, the resolution and the density. So the pixel intensity is present here. So what I'll do, I'll select the first one itself and we click on next so currently we'll look into the default structure of launching it when we click on next it will ask us on which particular android os we want this particular avd to be launched so here you can see there are various api levels present and then target os is mentioned around the api level so what is api level api level is specifically a versioning which is around the os which is present so whenever a new os comes into market there is particular api level for that particular version which which is updated in the back end so now what we have to do you can see android 11 android 10 android 9 so as per the latest updates you can see the target os os which is present here so if you want to launch it on a particular os suppose we want to launch it on android 11 so we need to download that particular api first if you see here, when I've selected this particular version, that is Android R, here next button has been highlighted or it is in enable state. But if I click on this one, that is Android 10, here you can see the next button is disabled. Also for Android 9, it is disabled. So why it is disabled? Because this particular API version or this particular OS version is not been downloaded yet. We have download option instantly available here. So if we click on download, we will be getting a particular license agreement if we click on accept and if we click on next the particular api installation will get started so you can see here which packages are installed here so google api is intel atom system image is installed and here the installation of that particular zip is in progress this is the versioning of it and this is the percentage orientation for it so if you want this particular os to get installed or this particular API version to be present in your Android virtual device. So you can install this or you can download this and then apply this particular OS version to the device. 
for now we'll just click on cancel we have particularly two os version already installed that is android 11 and oreo android 8.1 so we'll go with android 8.1 i'll select this and i'll click on next once you click on next specific information about the device is asked so automatically by default it has taken api 27 which is the version of that particular api if you go here this is the api 27 version so it has picked that you can rename as per your choice currently i'll keep it as it is you can still change the dpi version or anything specific to the device of your choice that is you can change the device uh, from here with the size the resolution however you want so usually while testing in in terms of development or qa phase we may need different version or resolution of device to catch a particular issue with respect to the ui or functionality of the application so you can create the avd according to your choice next is we can set up the startup orientation so if you want the start of avd whenever it is launched to be present in portrait or landscape mode you can define it here rest is all normal so graphics we have kept automatic and uh, the device frame is also set now we can click on finish so once you click on finish the avd will be started to get created and once the avd is created you can see that this particular avd with api 27 has been added in our list of the virtual devices so previously this was empty now we have one device of our own choice which we have created here and it is ready to launch so to launch it when you're you hover here it will show you an option launch this avd in the emulator so to launch launch the emulator we'll just click on this according to your computer speed it will take some time so bear with me on the time here as this is launching for the first time it will take some time usually once you have launched it and whenever you reuse this particular avd it would launch uh, somewhat quickly to what it is taking time right now So if you see here, we got Android is started and our particular device is ready to use. So I just, if I just swap or if I just toggle it upwards, like we do for an Android device. So all that can be done using your mouse function and all of this, the default apps, which we get by default installed in the device. So that all are present. If you want to install your own devices, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Also, if you want to check if our device is present or not so here if i just say adb devices so we will see the list of devices which are attached so here emulator triple five four device is been present so in this way you can even play with the device if you wish to and uh, you will have thorough uh, rights to access this particular device so this is the simplest way to launch any emulator and carry on with your development or testing on a particular device so that was about avd introduction launching and configuration of avd and emulator so stay tuned in the next session, we will be looking into Android TV AVD, how to launch TV on emulator and installing the applications on it. Hope this session was useful. Don't forget to subscribe non-functional club channel. Thank you.